Hello, hello, this is the most sporadic thing I have done <laughs> on this channel so far. We'll be playing Pokemon Violet. I haven't even thought about the schedule or anything like that. Basically, let me just explain. But I was away on a holiday for uh, a week, and I saw one of my friends play uh, Pokemon Violet, and uh, well, I was kind of like half watching, if I'm going to be honest with you. And I was like, oh, that, that looks kind of cool. That, <laughs> that looks kind of cool. Uh, so here we are. We are playing. <laughs> we'll be playing Pokemon Violet, I guess. I have no idea what the recording schedule, or sorry, the upload schedule is going to be like in any regards, because I haven't thought about it. Uh, <laughs> let's jump in. One thing I will mention as well is that I am back. I've been out, so yeah, I've, I'm, I'm on like five hours sleep to get begin with, uh, and I just returned home from a, um, <laughs> from a trip about two hours ago, and it's two in the morning, so yeah, anyways, I might sound kind of funky, but I suppose we'll play in English. Choose a look for myself. Um, I know you can like customize around afterwards, right? In terms of how. Start with this then. Okay. Um, this is really interesting. So I'm going to title these videos like, you know, Gen 3 Enthusiast Plays Pokemon Violet for the first time or something. So, uh, yeah, I've played, I played up to X and Y, I, like, I finished up to X and Y, and Sun and Moon, I really disliked. I, I'm sorry if you liked Sun and Moon, but that just didn't feel like Pokemon to me. Um, so I stopped, like, a few hours in. And Sword and Shield, I kind of dabbled in, but I didn't really properly play it. So, and, yeah, this one I barely haven't, like, other than my friend playing it, I actually have no idea what's, what's up. Uh, I haven't looked into it. Uh, you know, I didn't watch any videos or anything like that. So, uh, yeah, this is gonna be very interesting. This is definitely gonna be a very casual playthrough, as you can clearly tell from the style of my commentary so far. Um, but yeah, if you are interested in a Pokey Boomer, I guess, <laughs> play one of the newer ones, then, uh, come join me, <laughs> I, I suppose. Alright, what has so I mean, I know this is the cool thing about the new games, you can really, like, just, like, you know, completely... Whoa, wait, hold... Did your eyes change? Or were, you, were they always like that? I don't, okay. Oh, there, there they are. Okay. Um, anyways, yeah. Basically, what I was saying is I really do enjoy all the customization stuff because I love doing character customization stuff and all that. I will see you all in a second uh, when I'm finished with this. I mean, if you want it to be the most accurate to how I actually look, then it'd be something like this. But uh, maybe we could do something a bit more interesting in terms of colors and stuff. One second. Oh, I do like the wine red. The wine red is nice. Oh, ash purple is also super nice. Not to mention ash, bl ash blonde is also good as well. God, there's too many character customization options. <laughs> um, yeah, oh, the wine red is really nice. But I suppose... Well, I don't know. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Did I accidentally restart? <laughs> Whoops. Uh, one second. Okay, here we go. Uh, yeah, so it's either this one or the wine red. I mean, I feel like I would, personally, if it was real life, I would definitely go for the ash colors. But, if we want to be more close to the channel avatar, then this would make the most sense, I feel. Let's go with the wine red. It's fun. It's nice. I dig it. Um, plus, yeah. And is there anything else you can change here, or change the look? I, I'm guessing this is like skin tones and stuff, right? Oh, and eye shapes and stuff. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. I think I figured out my character. This is uh, basically the uh, the design, of course, <laughs> with the red, um, as well as yeah, just the. I went for a bit of a light color with the eyes, so. Yeah, I think this is the vibe. I think you might be able to unlock different hairstyles and uh, whatnot when you actually keep playing the game. I feel like Sword and Shield had something like that, but I, yeah, no, I don't remember. Alright, uh, confirm, B. Yeah, okay. I think we're ready to uh, go on a bit of a journey, I suppose. <laughs> I'm ready, okay, let's see. Um, I do know that you can take, like, little selfies and stuff in this game, so I might make every thumbnail selfies. <laughs> I feel like everyone does that, right? Whatever, whoever plays this game. Language English, nice. So I do kind of vaguely know that, you know, you it's like Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, right? You like you go to like an academy of Pokemon or something. Um, so yeah, there you have it. 
But uh, here we are. Okay. That's our emblem. Is that grapes? I guess it's grapes. Uva Academy. Giant Pokeball in the center. Lean the way into the future while valuing our individuality. Okay, some funky looking characters. I'm sure who we'll meet along the way. Interesting. Okay, a library of sorts it looks like. It's time for you too to dive into the world of Pokemon. That was a Hariyama, wasn't it? Okay. Uh, of course, this chick. I do know her. N pneumonia or whatever. <laughs> Um, okay. Oh, the headmaster? Cool. Director Clavel, head of Uva Academy. Cool. Uh, Paldea is a sprawling region bursting with the lush nature and magnificent landscapes. Paldea sounds like a fire emblem place. Uh, it is also, of course, home to the mysterious creatures known to us as Pokemon. They reside here in great numbers, in fact. Okay. For the glasses. Alright, who are you gonna... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen that one before. Um, but, okay. Little, uh, Pikachu-looking thing, I guess. <laughs> sort of. Pokemon can be found living all over in the seas and the skies, even in our cities and towns. We humans coexist with Pokemon as we both help one uh, another to live and thrive. Okay, I I'm guessing we can explore these, uh, this monastery, I guess, or, or, you know, this academy at one point. Cool. Uh, Yuva Academy is here to help you learn even more about these precious partners. Within our halls, people from all regions gather to study together. Okay. Oh, it's Tauros. And as uh, Pokemon trainers, they have their Pokemon do battle growing alongside them. Uh, while our robust curriculum of coursework helps our students draw forth their fullest potential, it is within the halls that you will find your friends, your Pokemon, and your true self. Look at uh, Miss Magius. Uh, uh, yeah, I... I find a lot of the Diamond Pearl ones and uh, Ruby Sakurai to be particularly <laughs> excitable. But here we are. Okay. Bike Dragon. I have seen this. I have seen this Godzilla. Um, but... Okay, cool. There we have the title drop, of course. Pokemon Violet. Yeah. Uh, yeah, basically the only reason why I chose Violet over Scarlet is because uh, th this, this dragon looks way cooler than the other one. <laughs> That's basically it. Um, so, like the other one's kind of T-Rexy, and then this one's more like cybernetic, and yeah, this is more my vibe. Oh, it's Eevee. Cool. Oh, some flamingos. Interesting. Cool stuff. And uh, I do like how this dragon has like, like, uh, cybernetic eyes, you know? <laughs> um, I did, uh, upload in the community post, uh, before starting this that, uh, yeah, if you saw that, you noticed that I did buy a, a plush of this guy, so yeah. No, he's he's a very cool, um, d definitely a super cool design. I dig it. Oh, who are you? Okay, must be a new one of sorts, new little creature. All right, sure. And I guess this is uh, our house, perhaps. All right, here we are. Okay, so far pretty interesting stuff. Again, I do really uh, dig the uh, aesthetic and the, uh, you know, the graphic design, graphic design? Not really graphic design, but you get what I mean. The uh, graphical aesthetic of this game. Look at how pretty this game is, oh my god, okay. There you go. And uh, here we are. I, I suppose I'm reading. <laughs> oh, get up, I can already move. Oh, cool. Put my, uh, I don't know, magazine away. Hi. <laughs> it is I. <laughs> okay. Uh, can I, I can move around. Oh, awesome. Okay. There's a Switch. What does it say? It's a new Nintendo Switch system. This one's got a bigger screen. Oh, is that the OLED model? I've never seen one in real life, but I guess that's kind of what uh, happens there. It's your very own wardrobe adorned with Pokemon stickers. Again, I am a... Look, as you guys know, I, I play JRPGs and the like on this channel, uh, and I do love the flavor text, so <laughs> I do apologize if uh, you're not interested. Today on Siu Adventures, we'll see Mesagoza, a city that's home to a well-known academy. Uh, oops, better get going. Okay, TV's still on, I guess. What's this? Your mum built these shelves herself. They're ne neatly decorated with your belongings. Oh, look at that! Oh my god, look at that hop hip um, flower pot. That's very interesting. Cool stuff. Okay. Again, my Pokemon knowledge is, uh, yeah, up to, like, Gen 4, I'd say it's really, really solid. And then, like, I did play Black... I, I do like Black and White a lot. Um, and I did play X and Y, so there's some Pokemon I recognize, but I might not immediately know the names. Look, there's a little Krogunk ball. Cool. 
It's a squovid plush made with care using nice soft material. Uh, that must be one of the new ones. I have I have seen the squirrel, but uh, okay. It's just a fluffy bed. It's got a lovely sun warmed scent. What does that even? Okay. All right. I suppose we're meant to go downstairs. Can I run yet? No, I can't. Okay. Interesting. I suppose I'll go down. Cool. Oh, I like how the character looks around. Um, I don't know if you, it was very subtle, but you could see the eyes move, darting across based on uh, where you are. What is that little uh, flower pot? Okay. This painting is entitled Street Midday. It depicts a beautiful town in a different region. Interesting. Is that some theorization going on? <laughs> Maybe we came from somewhere else? Mancha. Hi. Oh, okay, I guess that was the... the... So... You have the squirrel, yet you have the plush of the squirrel. That how does that Okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm not gonna think about it too much. Of course we don't have a dad as per usual. Good morning, Rain. Hi, what's up? A very pretty mother. Oh, already in your uniform and everything. Well it is your first day at your new school after all. I'm so excited for you. So you might want to call your engines before you go racing out the door. The school contracted me and said that you're supposed to wait here a little while longer. Their words not mine. Apparently there's some very important, uh, sorry, no, there's something very important for your first day that still hasn't arrived. Ding dong, bing bong, that's a dang and robber, who cares? Uh, <laughs> maybe that's the very thing we're waiting for, Rain, get the door, would you? Alright, I suppose we shall. We shall indeed. Look at the light reflections on the, god, this game is super pretty. Um, I'm sorry that my capture card isn't amazing, so sometimes you might see bits of, you know, I don't know, like, noise on the screen or something? I do apologize about that, there isn't much I can do about it. Do forgive the intrusion. I hope my commentary makes up for it, at least. You're Miss Rain, yes. On behalf of the Academy, I must apologize for the late arrival of your enrollment documents. Oh, and also for my delay in introducing myself. Look at all, look at all the Pokeballs on him. I am the director of Uva Academy, you may call me Mr. Clavel. The director, and you gave me a person to help my daughter with uh, her first day. Well, I am responsible for the entire academy, including any failures on its part. So here, at last, are the enrollment documents that should have already been delivered to you. Okay. In a little paper bag, I see. Look at the Pokeball apron. Goodness, you really needn't have... Did you come all this way? Can I at least offer you a cup of tea? Wait, is it... Hmm, is this set in Britain? <laughs> I guess it could be. Um, I know that, like, the first four generations were old Japan, and then, like, they started going a bit global. So, uh, you know, it, it definitely could be. Uh, I, know, I know, like, black and white was uh, um, uh, America, yeah. And X and Y was, like, France, or just, like, general Europe, I think, something like that. Anyways, no need to trouble yourself, okay? Right, I've got a thing or two to discuss with the director here. When you head back to your room and finish getting ready for school, you need your bag and your hat as well. Okay, my uh, dumb-looking hat, of course. Now, Mr. Clavel, you simply must join me for a cup of this way. A cuppa, yeah, I wonder, this might actually take place in Britain. Well, how can I refuse such a kind offer? It does look very British in terms of some of the designs I do feel, so that makes uh, a lot of sense. Awesome, okay, let's... Is this game autosave? Look at that, now saving. I didn't know that, okay, interesting. Um, sure. So I suppose we're meant to... I still can't run yet, maybe because I'm inside? I suppose I'll get my hat here. Ready to put on your hat and grab your bag? Yep, I guess so. Sorry, okay. Let's see. Oh, that's a nice looking uh, bag. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I always found those um, school hats to be really funny. <laughs> like, we had to wear them when I was, like, you know, in elementary school and stuff as well. But, like, yeah, they're so goofy. Um, okay, press the X button for the main menu. Select save. Do key items, that sort of thing. Awesome. Okay. Seems good. Uh, for the time being, I suppose I'll throw in a save. Yep. Um... I know there's, yeah, there's like, as you can see down there, oh, that was a very quick save. There's like downloadable content of that like Oni mask thing um, that I keep seeing adverts for and stuff. Uh, so if this series, if I end up enjoying this, then I'm more than happy to play through that as well if you'd like me to. Okay. Cool. I'll just look at you all ready for your pick first day. Cool. Right. Yes, uniform of our storied academy suits you quite well indeed. Oh, also, I forgot to mention this, but, like, um, I'm pretty... Didn't this game come out, like... Actually, I don't know, was it... It must have been, like, earlier this year or something? I know it's been, like, at least half a year. Maybe even longer. 
So yeah, I don't know. Anyways, oh, gracious, how very careless of me. I had entirely forgotten that I have something else for you, Miss Rain, a most important thing. But your leaving room is hardly the place for it. Would you care to follow me outside? Okay, I wonder what I'm getting. <laughs> Alright, I wonder what this important thing might be. Let's follow the director out and sh uh, see you, shall we? God, I look goofy, don't I? <laughs> I, hmm, that is interesting because, like, this, I know the new games are all about customization with, like, clothes and stuff like that. Like, even, like, I played Shining Pearl because that was very nostalgic and, uh, you know, that was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that, but, I uh, like, you know, that one had a bunch of different styles you could wear. But this game is set in a school, so I wonder if you can wear stuff outside the uniform or not. That interests me. That intrigues me. I'm not sure. Right then, dear Pokemon, time to come out of your Pokeballs. Alright. The ones on his uh, chest, uh, oh sorry, his hip are Premier Balls, I guess, yeah. Cool. I, I mean, you know, you, you probably can already guess which one I'm going to choose, because there's only one right answer here, but anyways, we provide each student entering the Academy a Pokemon of their own. I'll ask you to choose which among these three, among, uh, you'd like to have as your partner. I, I mean, I mean, you... Your perfection. What, what else can I say? You know, it's a cat, but it's also a grass cat. I, I, I'm just saying Sprigatito, I guess. I know I know he's called uh, Nyoha in uh, Japanese, which I kind of think is cuter, but uh, Sprigatito, I guess. Oh, because Gato is like cat in Italian, I think. And maybe Spring? I have no idea. The grass cat Pokemon. Spur. Okay, nice. <laughs> And then this dumb looking thing, Fuecoco, the fire croc Pokemon. Cool, I, I guess. <laughs> and then Donald Duck here, Quaxley, the duckling Pokemon. Pomp! <laughs> really? They're all very good company, why they usually refuse to even leave my side. Well, again, I only have my hearts out for one of them, and I do not care about the other two. <laughs> What's this? Hmm, so it turns out they're more interested in you, Miss Rain, than that familiar old me. I do wish I could say and see which one you choose, but I must be off to my next home visit. Is he going around every single house being like, here are your Pokemon, here are your documents. I'll be at the house just over there. Take your time with your decision, then come find me once your mind is made up. Now, if you excuse me, until next we meet. I love how, like, alive this world feels, though, just in terms of just all the stuff, like the orange trees and the pumpkins and, you know, all that. What a manly fellow that director of yours is. Okay. These three are all lovely, but you need to choose uh, just one, right? Not an easy task. Okay, when I take this opportunity to walk about with these little ones and get to know them, I'm sure they have lots to teach you. Oh, but before you go, I'll go you a little something to celebrate your big day. Take it with you if you're going out on your own. What is that? Pokeball? Oh, uh, Rotom phone. Oh, okay. Put the Rotom phone in your bag's key items pocket. Uh, the latest model of smartphone, a Pokemon called Rotom, lives within it. Yeah, from Diamond and Pearl, I guess. And it can be used to run all sorts of handy apps. Okay, I don't... So, hmm. Wait, does this imply that every phone in the, the this Pokemon universe is, like, possessed by a Rotom? How many Rotoms are there just, like, <laughs> you know, whizzing about and stuff? It's a brand new phone. According to the instructions, you can check the map app by pressing the Y button. The map app. It'll help keep you get from getting lost to take good care of your new gadget, okay? Now if you go, have fun. Alright. Cool. I take it. Alright, uh, I suppose we can take a look at the map now. Oh, with the Y button, I see. We're in uh, Cabo Poco. The handy room phone is a popular item used throughout the Paldea re region. Adding apps to it gives the trainer access to a variety of useful functions. Your Rotom phone. Using the map app, you can find useful information about the Paldea region. If you move the map cursor over your own icon, then move the right stick from side to side. You rotate your own view along with the map. Handy for getting yourself oriented. Cool. You can use the left stick to move the magnifying glass around the map and find locations. Select a location by pressing neighbor. Okay, awesome. Fly flying taxi. Service can take you to some places you've visited before, places that you can fly to indicate with a feather mark. Try taking a flight. I suppose it's, um, a quick travel. Oh, okay. Oh my- oh my god, how big is this game? Jesus Christ. ZL. Uh, wait, how do I- is this one ZL? Oh. 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 Oh my god, this game is big. Okay. Okay, this might be a very long series. I do very much apologize. Alright, the only ones I have eyes on is you. Oh, I can't talk to you. <laughs> okay, I guess we have to go to the um, the other person's house. Look at these, yeah. It's a very, very pretty looking game. Again, like I said, I think I mentioned this in my Fire Emblem Path of Radiance playthrough at one point. Um, but, you know, 
I'm a bit of a boomer when it comes to video games, so um, yeah, a lot of things just really impress me. Because <laughs> I tend to play like games that are somewhat old, I feel. Um, or just, you know, like the early 2000s and stuff like that, so whenever I play something- Oh, now I can run. Oh, okay. I guess I just unlocked it, weirdly enough. Is, uh, are you gonna be the- You are the power of the science man! I know power of science is like a thing in every single game, right? Like, I know the famous one is like in Leaf Green or whatever, it's just like, you know, the power of science is amazing. Like, now you can transfer Pokemon into, into computers now or something like that. Um, it's like a whole running thing in every starting town, there's this guy. So, uh, no, that's cool. Okay. If you connect with your friends, you can head out on adventures together up to four- What? Really? You can do, like, co-op play in this game? I didn't know that. That is very cool. Alright, well, uh, yeah, let us continue, I suppose. Are they gonna- they, they are following us, right? Um, yeah. Oh my god. I- again, I only have eyes on you, my green friend, but, uh, anywho. Okay. Let's go into the- go into here, then. Let's, uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> The duck, it's so goofy. Oh, they're gone now. Oh, yeah, didn't Sword and Shield have like a cutscene where it like showed off all the Pokemon bit by bit? <laughs> what is this, a L'Oreal uh, commercial? Okay, sniffing. <laughs> oh, how, how cute, how adorable. And this goofball with his tangerines, I guess. Interesting. <laughs> he burnt it. I see. Little dumb crocodile. <laughs> oh yeah, I saw like a Twitter thing of like, oh it does- oh wait, I, I meant to read this on- oh no. I, are you these three's trainer? Yeah. Not quite Miss Rain has yet to make her choice, you see. Sorry, I was taking supporter. Okay. Nice, I get to- oh, you are so adorable. I do wonder which of them she will choose as- oh, okay. As her first Pokemon, I think. I don't know, something like that. Um, I saw on Twitter once that, like, yeah, Fue Coco has a craft single on his stomach, and now I can't unsee it. I remember someone making a joke about it, like, whenever this game came out. Buenas, we haven't met, have we? Buenas? I don't know. Some other language, or a catchphrase of sorts. I must say, I wasn't expecting to see you here quite so soon. It's, uh, pneumonia, or whatever. Hang on, director, is this who I think it is? Okay. Yes, Sail Academy's newest student, uh, Miss Rain, she'll be attending as of today. I guess so. So the kid who moved up in on the road. Okay. Been dying to find out more about you. Please don't die. Um, I'm Nemona? Nemona? Pneumonia? <laughs> Normally I live in the school dorms, but home is here. What do you say, new neighbor? Wanna be friends? She's a bit psychopathic, right? I, I have seen the Twitter trends about her. And there was a famous, uh, or like infamous, I should say, uh, like, quiz, I guess, that got made in Japan, in the Japanese community, called like, is this phrase Hisoka or Nimona? <laughs> because apparently this chick says some crazy stuff as well, about, you know, wanting to, um, you know, destroy you or something like that, that, that sort of thing. Like, she's incredibly, like, obsessive or something, right? Um... But yeah, I had a, a quite a chuckle. Um, so it was like, yeah, is it Hisoka's phrase or is it ne Nemuna's uh, f phrase or whatever? I did say that, but anyways. I wonder what happens if I say no. <laughs> no, I'm too kind-hearted, I can't do that. Love that enthusiasm, we're gonna get along just fine, I hope so. Miss Nemuna is pre uh, president of our student council and champion ranked trainer in her own right. Okay. I absolutely love Pokemon battling, in fact we should battle right now, you and me, of course. Okay. He's now, you two will be in the same class, so you have plenty of time to battle later. Get to know one uh, another better, of course. And be neighbors and classmates, nice. We'll be able to battle all we want. I guess so. Um, I don't know if that's good or not. On that note, Miss Rain. Okay. Time for a battle. Oh, we're gonna choose, I guess. Have you decided which of these Pokemon would, would uh, you would like to be as your first partner? I mean... Again, there is- there is not even- this isn't even a question, like, if you're telling a cat lover which one do you want to choose and there's a cat in the options, I- I don't know what to tell you, but anywho, okay. Let's sprig a Tito, a grass-type Pokemon. The tit, I'm gonna grab this tit, I'm s- I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> you can use its plant powers to soak up whatever water you throw at it. Cool. Would you like to go with our good grass-type Pokemon, sprig a Tito here? Yep. Uh, I guess- spare- oh, you- 
cute, you adorable thing. You try to spray your tea to it. I guess we will. I mean, with the Pokemon Sapphire run that I'm doing right now, I'm naming it after you guys, but I can't really do that right now, so... Um... Hmm, should I the- um, I wonder if I should do it theme-wise, or just like names that I can think of. Uh, let's see here. What about Clover? I feel like Clover might be a good one, um, because it's leaf-based, and, uh, you know, homie here's gonna be our good luck charm, I think, going forward, so. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Clover, I think that's cute. Um, yeah, okay, awesome. Alright, cool stuff. I do like, again, like, this is very impressive how cinematic- Look at how cinematic this game is. Cute, you adorable thing. Oh my god, you're adorable. That might even have to be the thumbnail. I, you know, I- What can I say? <laughs> Anyways, okay. Here we are. Sprigatito seems to have taken quite a liking to you, Miss Rain. Okay. Is your first Pokemon yes? Please raise it with love and care. I'll do my absolute best. Of course, be sure to keep it tucked safely inside a Pokeball. I will, I will do that, I will do that. In you go. I, I wonder if this game has, like, the mechanic with a Pokemon like Fellow You, because I know, uh, Shining Pearl brought that back for a bit, so, yeah. Right, I can't believe you actually chose Sprigatito. <laughs> That's the worst one, no. <laughs> right. I mean, like, way to, uh, make the perfect choice for you, you two make such a good combo. Cool, okay. Can I choose one of the Pokemon too? Doctor, uh, sorry, not Doctor, Director Clavel. But did you not receive a Pokemon when you entered the Academy, Miss Nemona? But back then, no, I had other Pokemon I was focused on raising at the time. But now I want to raise a new Pokemon alongside Rain while she raises her own new partner. Indeed, a rather splendid idea. If you wish to raise one of the Pokemon on equal footing with Miss Rain here, I shall be more than happy to allow it. Yes, okay. Nice. Which one's she gonna choose? Probably the one where we do. It's Rain chose Sprigatito, I'll go for this little one. Oh, I see. Um, so it's the one that we're strong against, which, uh, means, I'm guessing there's gonna be a third rival. Didn't that- that happened with, uh, Black and White, I think, with Charon and Bianca. Um, when one of the rivals chose the- the Pokemon that's weaker to you, if that makes sense. So I'm guessing that's gonna be a third character at some point. Nice to meet you, Quaxley. Welcome to the team. Pump, pump. Okay. <laughs> sure. All right then. Oh my god! Look at how goofy that thing is. Now they've chosen our Pokemon. We have to battle. <laughs> look at the look at Fue Coco behind the director's leg with that dumb look on his face. <laughs> I'll be waiting for you down at the beach. Come join me when you're ready. All right. I suppose I'll do, I will give that a go. Okay. As you may have noticed, Miss Nemo is a tad overly fond of Pokemon battling, but I do hope you join for her for a battle. It will help you get to know your own Pokemon as well. Awesome. Okay. What was that? Oh! Oh, they have little checks of what you can do. Alright. Did we have our... The auto heal feature will automatically select items from a bag and use them to heal your Pokemon. To use auto heal... Uh, okay, cool. Oh, I see. This is all based on how, you know, the numbers of, like, potions healing the least and hyper potions healing the most. That makes sense. Okay. Sure. Um... Wait, where is my Pokemon menu? Oh, I go here. Uh... Check summary, I guess. I guess we could take a look. Clover, of course. Uh, cute. Oh, you're a boy. Okay. Awesome. Uh, type is grass terra type. Terra type. Okay. Yeah, there's like a thing where you can crystallize, right? I, I have seen that. I don't entirely get it, but I have seen that. Um, which is also grass. Interesting. Okay. Is, uh, anything else? Leafage? I don't know what leafage does. Um... Suppose we'll bring uh, the grass type move to the top. It's just a thing I do. Yeah, don't don't mind me. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, those stats look really balanced and really good. But I don't know. I'm not good at that sort of thing. Nice. Okay. We started our adventure on November twenty three, I suppose. Okay. Awesome. Um, I guess we're going down. Here. Uh, for the time being, I suppose we can't actually summon our Pokemon to uh walk alongside us. Uh, like some of the- some of the games did. Over here? Okay. Alright, let's, uh... Oh, let me talk to you. Okay. I thought it was just gonna be automatic. Anyone can be Pokemon trainer as long as they have Pokemon by their side. It's our duty as trainers to help our Pokemon grow stronger through battle. So you ready to battle me, Rain? I guess so. Alright, I guess this is our first battle. Perfecto, I'm so excited for this battle. I think I'll use... Okay, Miss Nemina. Hmm? 
It's uh, the director again. What's he got to say? Trust. <laughs> Look at him. I trust you remember that Miss Rain is wholly inexperienced in Pokemon battling. <laughs> Whoops, good call, Director. I was about to send out one of my usual partners right off the bat. I guess I'll take the chance to try out my new buddy instead. I suppose because they're uh, both level 5. And I'm uh, guessing uh, the game's teaching you about weaknesses and stuff. Come on, Rain, let's have a fruitful battle. Let's uh, see. Okay. Oh, the, again, the craft. Look at the texture on her like gloves as well as her shirt and stuff. Alright, Trainer Nemona. I like her little green highlights in her hair. Cool stuff. Alright, Clover. Go get him, Clover. Okay. I know this is a fast Pokemon battle, so let's just have some fun. We'll see what happens. <laughs> okay. Suppose I'll use Leafage then, if it's weak to it. God, the cr look at the shading and the lighting and all that. It's very impressive. Okay, nice stuff. Cool. Okay, you must be studying up. Smart move, grass is stronger than water. Indeed it is. Yep. Why was that again? Was it- there was, I know there's like a reason behind it. Uh, I guess because trees drink water, is that what it is? Like, <laughs> but okay. Bye bye Donald Duck. Nice. <laughs> okay. Alright, cool. Oh, level up. Nice. Oh, you adorable thing. Okay. Very cinematic. I love it. Wow, not bad, neighbor. 300 in prize money. I do want to reiterate as well, I know this is like 30 minutes, 40 minutes into the video, but I I'm not becoming a Poketuber. Um, my main content is still going to be Fire Emblem, please keep that in mind. But uh, yeah, if we can casually play stuff like this, I'm more than happy to do you know that sort of thing as well. Look at you winning your first battle ever, you got even more potential than I thought. You're going to be a strong trainer for sure, but now I want to try a different strategy, let's go again, just one more battle. Oh, okay. Um, Alright. Miss Ren and her Sprigatito are surely wary, uh, wary already from the last battle. Oh, sorry, I got kind of caught up in all the excitement. I guess she did. I'm really sorry, Rain. Same to your Sprigatito, too. Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> Alright, thanks, Rain. You two seem to be becoming fast friends, though you've only just met. Can I count on you to take your new schoolmate here under your wing, Miss Nimona? I'm sure she can learn a great deal from a champion rank trainer such as yourself. You bet so. Well, that reminds me, since you're new to training Pokemon, there's an app you definitely need. You have a smartphone, right? Let me see it for a sec. How the times have changed, I'm telling you. Like, Pokemon Ruby Sapphire? Yeah, we, n no one had cell phones in that game. <laughs> okay, Pokedex. Oh, nice. Okay, it's an app now. I wonder how much it costs on the app store. <laughs> Seventeen ninety nine. no. Alright, the Pokedex will automatically register any Pokemon you catch. It's a must-have for Pokemon trainers. Super handy up, our homeroom teacher, Mr. Uh, Mr. Jack, I guess? Actually made it himself. Cool. Back in my day, we used ordinary paper and handwritten notes to compile our Pokedexes. Really? So that's even before, like, the Fire Red and all that era as well. Handwritten notes to compile our Pokedexes. It's quite- oh wait, no, I read that. It's quite the age we live in now. Oh, filling out Pokedex by hand. I can't even imagine how much work that would uh, take. Oh, no, I suppose you can't. Yet, no matter how much the times may change, the wonder of meeting new Pokemon never does. This is, uh, that is a truly timeless pleasure. Indeed it is. And the more Pokemon that you encounter, the more you'll find yourself growing and changing. Hope you'll both work hard towards the goal of completing your own Pokedexes. Now, Miss Nomona, I do still have a few matters to discuss with your parents. Can I depend on you to see Miss Rain to the academy? You'll be doing me quite the favour. Of course, leave it to me. Alright, then leave her in your capable hands. Are your hands capable? Alright, little one, it's time you and I were on our way. Are we gonna have to battle the director at some point, maybe? For what? Okay, <laughs> sure. God, that thing is- that thing's so funny looking. Maybe I ought to make it a little more time to work on my Pokedex, along with all my battling. Alright. Oh, Speaking of Pokedex this rain, you probably never caught a wild Pokemon, right? I'll show the ropes before I take you to the academy. Come with me. Alright, tutorial as per usual. I see. Cool, gotcha. Um, I know this game's somewhat open world, I think. As it well, I think it's like you get to choose what to do in like what order or something like that. So that's kinda interesting. Um, I guess, uh, yeah, they've, they're trying different things for Pokemon. Press the minus button to open the Pokedex up on your Rotom phone. Okay. Sure. Uh, the minus button. This one? I, again, like I said, I really do like, um, flavor text, so if we catch anything, I kind of do want to read all the entries. 
Um, compile volumes in your Pokédex up with fancy copy for Pokémon you've caught. Awesome. Okay. I did actually see this uh, when my friend was playing this. This looked really, really cool. Alright, cool. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is the Dex. I see. I recently caught. Recently battled. Ah, interesting. Okay. Oh, look at that. They have screenshots for every Pokémon. Sprigatito, grass cat Pokémon. Oh, wait, hold on. How do I... Oh, Habitat? Um, no, that's not it. Uh, details, I guess. Okay. Cool. The sweet scent its body gives off mesmerizes those around it. The scent grows stronger when this Pokémon is in the sun. Oh, it... Uh, okay, so I suppose, like, it doesn't eat anything? I suppose it just kind of absorbs uh, nature energy, like, so through um, photosynthesis and stuff. Interesting. Height is um, American stuff that I don't understand, and weight as well. Okay. All right. Um, cool. Awesome. Let's uh, continue then. We'll play for a little bit more. Um, I think we're just kind of uh, learning the ropes as, uh, of this game so far. Again, I've been very impressed so far in terms of, uh, you know, all just the... Just the evolution of, of what Pokemon is in this day and age, right? Um, obviously, you know, I still prefer Ruby and Sapphire and stuff. Just from how nostalgic and how masterpiece those games are personally. But, you know, still. This is uh, very cool as well. I'm very much open to this. Alright, I hear that Nemona here will be taking you to school. I guess so. Uh, it's, yeah, I, I guess maybe she's older than us. If she's been in the school for a bit longer? I don't know. And she's kind of taller too. That's right, ma'am. Leave it to me. Is that a catchphrase? Leave it to me. So they've already managed to make a friend. I guess so. Okay. That was a very big smile. And I read about all the wonderful teachers who have looking after you at the school. Plus so many handy facilities you can use as much as you like. And add in your new friend, Nemona, and it sounds like your school life is shaping up to be fantastic. Okay. Alright, now you'll be staying in the school dorm, so- Oh, okay, so I want you to promise me you'll eat proper meals. Here's a bit of spending money to start off with, I also packed a lunch for your first day. This is very interesting, yeah, the, it does give me Yu-Gi-Oh! Jacks vibes, like I said. You got a sandwich. A dish made by sandwiching vegetable- y Yeah, meat or other ingredients between two pieces of bread. It makes a fantastic meal when out on a picnic. I didn't think this was going to have a description of a sandwich. I thought it was going to be like, you know, heals by 50 HP or, or whatever it is, right? Like... I didn't realize it was going to be like that. But maybe you better take these too. Obtain five potions. Okay. Oh, nice. Alright. A spray type medicine for treating wounds. It can be used to restore 20 HP to a Pokemon. Use them on the precious little partner of yours should it get hurt in battle. I know every day in your new life is going to be full of exciting experiences far from home. That's a Spider-Man movie. Just try to savor them all. The good times and the hard times too. And the ugly times. But if you ever want to come back home, you know your bed is always ready for you. That... It's strange wording, but okay. Oh, Alright then, you two had better be off, I suppose. Take care on the way to school. Alright, we'll do our best. Again, I really do like our little insignia on our shirt there. A little, um, shoulder there. Your mother's so nice, Rain. I don't have a mother. <laughs> I'm kidding. Sorry. Oh, but I was gonna teach you how to catch a wild Pokemon. Come on, Vamos. Is she, like... Is she, a f like, a foreigner character? Is that why she's speaking in some other language? Again, I'm, I'm sorry if it sounds insensitive, but I genuinely don't know what uh, language that is, so... This way... I suppose maybe... Yeah, I mean, her skin is a little bit darker. Not not saying that that's something that's definitive, but I'm just saying, like, uh, she could be a... Uh, kind of like a foreign character. I'm not particularly too sure about all the details there. Again, yeah, no, look at all this. This is cool. Alright, Poco Path. Cool. Alright, let's take a look. Hi. <laughs> are you gonna... What are you gonna do this time? Alright. Alright, this here is Poco Path. Alright. Alright, funny name. What does it remind me of? Oh, I was thinking like, um, Patapon, I guess. <laughs> it was a PSP rhythm game. I don't know if you guys know that. It's a path that leads to adventure for you and me. Path of... Radiance, maybe? No. Okay, I'm sorry. Out here, things are different than in town. You're gonna see wild Pokemon out and about. They'll be on the path and in the grass and such. I guess it's like a symbol encounter. I think that's what they call in games when, like, you bump into something and then a battle starts. But anyways. Get too close to one and you'll have to battle, but you got to spring a Tito for that, right? If you want to try to catch a Pokemon, you gotta use... A good old Pokeball. Alright, wow, look at how shiny that is. I've got tons, have a few. Okay. How many... Alright, five Pokeballs, nice. Awesome. 
Uh, sorry, a device for catching wild Pokemon. It's thrown like a ball at a. Uh, sorry, hmm? it's thrown like a ball at a Pokemon, comfortably encapsulating its target. Awesome. I do know Lechonk. Lechonk is the best. Oink oink. Okay. Oh, what luck. Time is I'm learning by doing. Try battling this Lechonk. <laughs> God, the name is so funny. Who, whichever genius at Nintendo went, yes, I want to make a character called Lechonk. I think you deserve a raise, I genuinely do. <laughs> Anyways, okay. Because doesn't Lee mean, like, the? So it just means the the big boy, you know? <laughs> Anyways, you can try to catch a wild Pokemon when you're battling or press the X button. Alright. Are you having a hard time catching Pokemon trying to deal damage to it? Yep, okay, awesome. Same as usual. Alright, um, we're battle. Suppose we'll start with a scratch. I don't want to defeat. Uh, yeah, I don't want to defeat it. Okay, I could probably use another one, and uh, we'll do that. Again, this is a first-time playthrough. I'm not doing any sort of restrictions or anything like that. I'm not particularly good at Pokemon when it comes to the, uh, well, I suppose, the competitive side of it. Um, so I'm just gonna go with gut feeling and just use Pokemon that I like using. Uh, that being said, I do have a thing that I tend to do uh, with every new iteration of Pokemon. Again, it's been a while since I've played them, but whatever I would do, so like for X and Y for instance, X and Y had a lot of like returning Pokemon, but I very much prefer using new stuff that has never been seen before. So that's probably what's going to happen for my party, but yeah, anyways, okay. Lechonk, hog Pokemon. This Pokemon spurns all but the finest of foods. Its body gives off a herb-like scent that bug Pokemon detest. Oh, interesting, okay. I, hmm, you know what? I can't nickname this because it's already perfect. Alright, let's, uh, we got Lechonk. <laughs> oh my god, look at the little picture. Awesome, okay. Cool, we caught it. Hella, that was awesome. You caught the very first Pokemon you went for. Is, is it Hawaiian? I know, like, um, Sun and Moon was set in Hawaii, so... She does kind of s look like the rival in that, in a sense. Uh, so maybe? I don't know. I know Pokemon does, like, weird lore things when certain characters appear from different games, or they're hinted at being related to other characters and stuff like that, so... I'm crying when it comes to, uh, actually catching Pokemon. Maybe you should give me tips. Okay. Anyway, I have some more Pokeballs just in case not every catch works out. How many are they giving giving us? Ten? Okay, so fifteen. I guess fourteen. Cool. And again, we get the Pokemon. Throw the Pokeball. Remember that you'll be fine. Okay. Now go battle those wild Pokemon and catch some of them. I'll do my best. Okay. Let's meet back up uh, back up at the lighthouse over there. You can see our score from the top. Awesome. Okay. Pokemon you see wandering around in tall grass caves and elsewhere are wild Pokemon. Yep. You can also start by, battle, uh, by looking toward a wild Pokemon and throwing one of your Pokeballs at it by using the ZR button. Try to actually out to battle Pokemon that are up in trees or flying in the- Oh, interesting. Okay. Interesting. I'm going to have to learn how to do that uh, and the timing of that and stuff. Okay, cool. Um, sorry, the camera angle's a little bit difficult, but okay. Pokeball? Can I- can I- can I grab it? Thank you. Oh, it, it actually is a Pokeball. Okay. Um, again, I'm not particularly- oh, that's an X and Y one, right? Fletchling, I think? I suppose I'll catch a lot of these ones, but I don't think I'll, um, just for the deck entries and stuff, because they're fun to read, but I don't think I'm actually going to use them, um, because like I said, I, I kind of prefer just going the route of using Pokemon that I've never seen before. It's just so much more exciting. I'm just- I don't know, I don't know what the general consensus is, but I'm never really too happy when there's, like, like, I remember X and Y had like 60 new Pokemon and everything else was just old stuff and it's like, eh, I'd much rather just have like, you know, like a hundred new Pokemon or something, or maybe even more. Um, but anyways, okay. We got Fletchling. Cool. Oh, nice level. Okay, Bite. Cool. Awesome. Alright. Fletchling. Data's been added. Uh, Fletchling can be found in both rural, rural and urban areas. They once had a huge territorial dispute with uh, Squawk Billy. Fights broke out. Uh, mm? Fights broke out all over town. Oh, okay. Interesting world building, I suppose. Uh, let's see here. I mean, I'm not going to use her, but I suppose I suppose I'm not going to think too hard about it then. Um. 
F flappy after Flappy Bird. <laughs> That's a callback, isn't it? <laughs> um, that one legendary app that the creator took down. Okay, uh, Flappy has been added to your party. Okay, cool. And a little picture. I like looking at the little picture. The little picture's nice. What are you? Are you a new one? You might be a new one, actually. Again, here's the thing. I don't particularly know all the Sword Shield Pokemon or the Sun and Moon Pokemon. So, um, there might be times where I'm just like, is this a new one? And then it might not actually be a new one. So, keep that in mind. Um, but anyways. Tarantula. Or is it a raunchy tarantula? <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Okay. Scratch. Scratch at it. Okay. I think that's perfect. And again, here's the thing, like, I, you know, I mentioned this in my Sapphire video as well, but like, because I ha- I, I've been doing Let's Playing for basically 10 years, and I've never tried to Let's Play Pokemon, because I feel like you get to a point where it's just like, now I'm using this attack, now I'm throwing a Pokeball, you know, it's like... So I'm gonna try and- oh, actually, yeah, if you guys want me to talk about certain things, please let me know down below. But anyways, Tarantula, tarantula Thread, okay. Uh, we got an item, I guess. The thread it uh, secretes from its rear is as strong as wire. Secret so behind the thread's uh, strength is a topic of ongoing research. Tarantula, string ball Pokemon. Okay, oh, it's a string. It's oh, it's like a cotton spider. Okay. Um. Hmm. I suppose I'll just call it Yarny <laughs> because it's yarn. Y yeah. <laughs> I do. I. Usually, I, I do want to mention that I usually give nicknames to Pokemon whenever I play. Because uh, it just makes it that much more personal. Can we jump here? Oh, we can. Oh my god, okay. Nice. Oh wait, what are you doing here? If you are getting tired out, I can heal him for you. Thank you. Oh, and if you get real good at catching Pokemon, give me some advice. I'm not great at the actual throw the Pokeball part. Huh. Interesting. Wait, why was that up there? Oh, I guess... Oh. I guess it teleported me up there after the battle, I suppose. Uh, could be a positioning thing, I have no idea. Um, but okay. Got a little chunk again, I'm good. Again, I'm sorry, the camera sensitive. Oh, the camera sensitivity is a little bit much for me. Um, again, I'm just not used to playing 3D games all that much. These all look like the same. Yeah, that's the chunk, and that's the spider. Okay. Oh, it's Hopip. Again, I'm not particularly excited over old Pokemon, but... Can I grab that, please? Okay, potion. Nice. It's a bunch of hot pips. Very, very cute stuff, you know? And it's very immersive in that regard. Oh, there's a Pokeball. Nice. Oh, okay, actually just a Pokeball. Uh, what's over here? Tree? Oh, there's another Pokeball. I mean, here's the thing, I don't want to go too crazy, because... Oh, super potion. Spray type medicine for training wounds. It can be used to restore 60 HP, I think. That's what it said. I didn't realize it was gonna disappear immediately. What was that thing? I think something found me, but... Where did it go? Oh, it's that... Oh, it's that thing from X and Y. Uh, again, yeah, I suppose we'll do these for the Pokedex. Um, but I'm definitely not gonna be using them. Okay. Um... Again, I guess, like, I guess X and Y I can probably recognize in terms of the Pokemon. Um, but anything after that is where my knowledge starts to dwindle. Because at least X and Y I played to the end. So to an extent I could be like, oh, okay, yeah, that, that was that Pokemon, wasn't it? Also, I, I'm, yeah, because like I said uh, earlier as well, because X and Y has, like, I think it's like 70 new Pokemon or something. It's something, yeah, it's like super low. So, in that regard, it's it's a bit easier to recognize the numbers, I feel. Scatterbug. Okay. Cool. I'll take it. Nice. Cool. Scatterbug powder. Awesome. Okay. Uh, the Pokemon scatters poisonous powder to repel enemies. It will eat different plants depending on where it lives. Okay. I suppose we'll, uh, hmm. I mean, three hairs, so... Try. Hold on. I'm trying to think. What about what about Trilox? Because <laughs> I know, it, like, Lux means like hair, so <laughs> I suppose that works. Again, I'm definitely not going to be using uh, him. So, 
Okay, nice. Okay, and I just want to see all the pictures. That's a very cute picture. Awesome. Um, and then there was also Hop Ip we had to get, right? Um, but for the time being, I, w I mean, I will end things off very shortly. Uh, so yeah, please keep that in mind. And I have no idea when I'm going to, you know, continuously upload this. I want to try and at least play this game once a, once a week. But, uh, well, you know what we should end on, actually? We should try the ZR method. Spread type medicine for treating poisoning. It can be used to lift, I don't know, poison from a Pokemon, maybe? It went by a little too quickly, I'm sorry. Is there anything up in the trees? Not really, I don't think. Is that... Hold on, is that flying butterfly a thing, or is it just a background thing? I don't... I don't know. Oh, there is a hobby though, though. Oh, yeah, actually, I should have done the ZR method, I'm sorry. But there we go. You know, it took me way too long to realize that Hopip was actually a cat. And it, not to mention, um, it doesn't even make any sense because I knew Hopip's Japanese name more so than the English name, which is Haneko, which is Haneru to jump, and Neko, cat. So, you know, I all I'm saying is I feel like I should have known. But uh, yeah, I didn't actually realize that was a cat until way, way later down the line. But anywho, let's catch this. Nice, okay. Hope it was caught. Um, let's see. We'll call it... I'm trying to think. Um, <laughs> okay, oh nice, let's just register this first. Okay. As in a cold regions, Hope it could be found practically everywhere. This is because the wind carries the species all over the world. Much like real dandelion, uh, dandelions, uh, I believe. Um, how they spread, like, you know, they use the wind to, like, um, fling, like, seeds, uh, across and stuff. But anyways, I don't know why I'm thinking cabbage, but I'm gonna go with cabbage. Yeah, I think that works. <laughs> I don't know why it's cabbage, but I just feel like cabbage is, you know, the right thing. Okay, nice. Cabbage is my anti-party. Awesome. Alright, look at the, uh, yeah, again, cool picture. Alright, uh, what I will do is I'm gonna try the ZR method at one point. If there's anything new, I've already got Lechonk. Um, as, as amazing as a Pokemon as that is, you know, as much as I would love to use, like, six Lechonks at once, I don't think that's happening, uh, anytime soon. Oh my god, look at, look at you go. Very cute stuff, okay. Uh, yeah, and it does make this game feel more lively. The story's gonna continue, isn't it? Oh, damn it, okay. Didn't realize this was the, uh, the story look. Hey Rain, you getting the hang of how to catch Pokemon okay? I guess so. Alright, let me see. So far you've caught... Gagao. Oh, okay. Wow, what was that? Alright. Go. I've never heard that kind of cry before. Could be some strong Pokemon or something. As we find whatever made that cry, let's take a look around Rain. Just be careful. There's uh, a kind of unsafe cave not far from here, so steer clear. Basically, go to the un unsafe cave. Okay, I know your road home can keep. Uh, can sorry, can help keep you safe. But watch your step by these cliffs anyway. All right. Well, maybe I'll end it off here. Then um, we're gonna find the source of the mysterious cry. It's probably the package Pokemon. You know the whole. Uh, oh, what what was that? I was sliding. Okay. Oh, you can like sneak up. Um. Yeah, the package Pokemon. Pr probably. I mean, I imagine. Uh, I will grab this item. Ether. Okay. Great ether. Sorry. Um, <laughs> only a select few would get that. Um, okay, so ZR does that. Oh! Oh! Is that how you get? Oh my god, okay. I do know you can... Uh, hold on, how was it again? I remember... My friend was doing it. Is it... Uh, it's like the down on the D-pad or something? Here we go, yeah. You start up the camera by pressing the down button, yeah. Awesome. Um, you can flip it over. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Ch oh, changing expression. Cool. Okay. Oh my god, cute. Um, where, where are you? <laughs> where are you, buddy? Are you too low, I think? No, that's me, isn't it? That's me. <gasps> there you are. Um, kind of wish you would look this way. Oh, you, uh, where, where, where did... Oh. Okay, you're just running around in circles. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. Um, uh, what else? Filters? Oh, there we go, hold on. It might be the perfect chance. 
Pack. Oh, nice. That. Oh, I see. So it doesn't actually save. Uh, I suppose it saves to the um the actual switch. Change music. Oh. Oh, nice. Oh, and you can rotate with that. Ah, this is fun. And I'll change my expression through here. Raw. What's this? What's this? Oh, I see. <laughs> I see the edgy pose. And hello. Raw. And just the standard. Um, <laughs> the edgy pose is pretty nice. I do... That is something I would actually do, is the thing. So, <laughs> if you know me in real life, I'm sure you know that. There we go, okay. That's the thumbnail for today. Uh, <laughs> anywho, I want to end things off here. This was a ton of fun, and we really barely even touched this game so far. Hopefully you all enjoyed this just as much as I did, and uh, let me know what you think down below of, uh, well, this game, I suppose, in general. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you next time with some more Pokemon Violet. Hope to see you all there. Bye-bye now.